Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I'm going to be filming a questions and answers video with regards to me traveling overseas. Like obviously over the past month I've been like saying that I'm going overseas but I haven't really told everyone exactly what is happening and I've been getting quite a bit of questions so I thought I would just like put it all in one video and then let you know that I will be vlogging. I don't know how well that will go. I'm going to attempt to do it to the best of my abilities. And hopefully the Wi-Fi there will also be fine for me to upload. Also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of me traveling abroad. And hit the bell notification that way when I do upload in future. You will be notified as to when I do. And yeah, without further ado, let's just get into the video. <laughs> So I haven't written a list of questions down. I'm just going to go through the questions that I remember that people have asked me. And the first one is where am I going? I'm going to Thailand. Um, I have been to Thailand before. I went in December 2012 last and I really love Thailand. Like that was the first country that I wanted to go overseas to and it was. And I absolutely love the place. No, just it's, it's a beautiful country in general. So yeah, uh, that's why I chose to go to Thailand. What am I going to do there? I am going to teach English. I currently don't know what age group or where I'm going to be teaching, but I am with a company that is going to place me and stuff, so I'm not bothered about that. How long am I going for? I'm going to be going for initially seven months, and I say initially because like, I, I personally don't know myself if I'm going to want to come back to South Africa after I do that or if I want to go somewhere else I don't know what I'm going to decide in seven months time so that's why I say initially am I going alone yes I am everyone has told me that I am very brave for going alone and at the same time there are so many people that are all going alone and why can't I go alone if they all are and I always said that I wanted to travel so if I can do it alone and like experience it I think it's a it's an incredible experience to have, to know that you can travel alone. I'm going to find myself, you could say. Why am I going? Um, well, <laughs> my ex-boyfriend and I broke up in December. Since then, I've literally just been in a space of not knowing what I want to do with my life and like what direction I'm going in. Especially when you have so many plans with someone and they all get taken away from you. I was kind of thrown into the deep end of what am I going to do next. But don't get me wrong, it is definitely a good thing to be thrown into the deep end. After that, I've literally been sitting at home doing nothing for four months and I, I allowed myself time to like think about things and process things. The solution for me, besides my family and my friends, there's nothing holding me back in South Africa and there's nothing holding me to South Africa. So that is why I've decided to go overseas. Why did I choose Thailand? Because I loved the last time I went there and this time I know I'm going for like a completely different experience to actually immerse myself into the culture and yeah I I want to go to the temples and I want to explore Asia because I think it is a very beautiful continent so is Africa but um, obviously for their different reasons am I nervous of course I'm nervous I am not a linguistic person like I did so badly in Afrikaans throughout school that is one thing that I'm very nervous about is not being able to communicate with the people. I hope that obviously once I'm there hearing the people say the words rather than trying to say them from reading them. Hopefully I will catch on a little bit quicker. They also say that it's a good thing for you to learn the Thai language because then you won't get the tourist prices. So if you learn how to speak Thai they know that you're not just a tourist and like obviously then they know that you're working in Thailand and they'll give you the Thai prices. Yeah, I'm very nervous about that, but we'll see how it goes. I'm also nervous about like not knowing what school I'll be placed in and uh, what age group I will be placed with. 
I'm hoping that I get placed with younger children just because I prefer working with them. What else am I nervous about? I'm nervous about trav- Excuse me, rude. I'm nervous about traveling alone. Um, I have traveled alone like in the country but I am a bit nervous to be flying overseas alone but I mean so many people do it all the time and everyone is so capable of doing it so obviously like I know I am capable of doing it it's just nerve-wracking to do something for the first time what else I'm I'm a little bit nervous about making friends like obviously everyone being from different countries and different cultures it will be very interesting to see how we all interact but yeah i'm hoping that i make at least one good friend that will want to go and travel to like the different islands yeah i just everyone has been telling me that i'm very brave doing this and i think it is a very ballsy move but you know what as everyone says you only live once so there's nothing wrong with like going out and trying it and it's only for seven months like in the bigger scheme of your life seven months is absolutely nothing yeah where am i going okay so um for the first four nights i am in bangkok and then on the monday i travel down to hua hin i think that's how you say it i hope that's how you say it um, but it's like a two and a half, three hour drive from Bangkok to get there. From there, I am going to be there for a month. And this is where I'm going to be doing my TEFL course. And for the first week, we have orientation. So we're going out and going to like an elephant sanctuary. We're going on a hike. Something with Explore Asia. They have something called Rescue Paws. Helping out the stray dogs, feeding them, giving them homes and just giving them love and attention and then also getting a lot of like Thai culture and language um, assistance for the first week hope that goes well so then after after that first month then I have no idea where I will be but I will keep you posted in my vlogs yeah I think that's about it if you have any other questions that you'd like to ask me comment them down below and I'll get back to you on them bye see you in my next video